NASCAR driver Timmy Hill made the switch to the new Toyota Tundra race truck for this season's Camping World Truck Series, just in time for the factory version of the all-new Tundra to arrive at Leaf Toyota. So how does the race truck compare to the street truck? We're going to find out next on Zero to 60 TV by LeafCars.com. Now joining me is our good NASCAR friend, Timmy Hill. Come on in here, Timmy. Good hey, to see Mark. you again, buddy. Great seeing you again. Yeah, thanks so much for uh, having us back out to the race shop. It's, uh, it's been a couple of years. Uh, but now you've got, you know, your truck team is coming along and the, a garage full of Toyota Tundras. So we thought, you know, perfect time to come down here and bring our Tundra and have you check it out. Yeah, uh, perfect timing. Yeah, we, we made the switch over to Toyota this season. Uh, we've been very pleased with it. Our uh, Toyota Tundra Pros, uh, they come out beautifully. And uh, I'm excited to share with you what they look like. And Timmy, you know how we did that Supra comparison video a couple of years ago at Lee Toyota. We're going to do that with the street version of the Tundra and your race Tundra just to see is there anything similar or are they completely out of this world different? Well, I think they're going to be at least a little <laughs> bit different, Mark. But uh, yeah, let's do that. All right. So let's start with what's under the hood of the all new Tundra. All right. So with the new Tundra, uh, Timmy, this is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, uh, putting out 389 horsepower, but what powers your race Tundra? This is impressive. Um, it's definitely different than what we use. So for the truck series, uh, we use a spec engine. Now all the manufacturers actually run the same engine. So we, that, that spec engine comes from a company called Ilmore. Now, uh, our engines are still V8 engines, uh, roughly 650 horsepower. So they look different than this, <laughs> uh, but man, I'm sure this thing hums. Yeah, it does. And uh, it's fun to see the turbo boost gauge, uh, the PSI go up a little bit on the highway when you need to punch it too. Absolutely. But yeah, this puts out um, 389 horsepower. So it's, it's in the ballpark. Well, they got a hybrid version of the same V6 twin turbo coming out this summer that's going to have 437 horsepower. That's impressive. So, Timmy, let's move around the exterior of the all-new Tundra and kind of compare how close uh, Toyota, the race truck, is to the street Tundra. And I guess starting with the front end, the grill of the new Tundra actually has um, actuated uh, grill flaps here that when you're on the highway they close for aerodynamics so you're not sucking in the air you only get that around city driving for cooling but what about your race truck wow uh, that's impressive as you can tell we you know we we have ours but they don't actually function they're, they're uh more for aesthetics <laughs> <laughs> so uh even though it looks like that they're there uh they don't actually function they're just decals or stickers that we put on there to uh make it look like the street version now, where is the actual grill? Is that the metal part at the bottom? So everything that you see on the front end of our vehicle, you see the, the grill that the Toyota Pro has with the light bar. It's slightly different than your street version here. Uh, but this grill doesn't actually open up to let that air intake come in. Our grill is actually down here at the bottom, uh, and that's where we, we will take our, our, our airflow. So the grill is all vinyl. Everything you see up here is vinyl. Um, the headlights are all vinyl. So we don't see those LED lights that you have on this truck here either. Um, they're doing a great job of really making it look like the street version, but the only thing that's functional is actually this grill intake right here. And I think I've seen, Timmy, do you guys sometimes on super speedways, uh, depending on how the aero is causing the, the race truck or race car, like, you know, when you're expending your cup uh, history, I've seen them sometimes, it looks like they'll take tape or something and tape over part of that mesh. So, you know, for us, uh, this is how we cool our engines. And if we can allow it and not have our engine overheat, uh -huh. we will actually, yes, we will put tape over this and say cover part of this grill up. And what that would do is this creating uh, le less drag and more downforce. So when there's air coming in this grill, it's slowing your vehicle down because it's air pocketing into yep. the vehicle. So if you can block some of that air off, that's great. It'll make the truck faster. 
but you're suffering because you're not getting the same airflow to cool mm -hmm. the engine down. So it's it's a uh, it's a science project that you have to really dial yeah. in correctly. Yeah. Uh, and Timmy, I mean, you know, you tell us. I mean, it looks like uh, between Toyota, the factory, and NASCAR, they did a really good job getting the sculpted fenders of the new Tundra, you know, kind of baked into the the front end of, of the race truck. What is that? What is the the truck made of? So uh, yes, yeah, so the race truck has all the character lines that the street version has. The, the fenders, the way they're strong and they go down uh, towards the door area are exactly like the street version. Now this material is made out of uh, fiberglass for the nose and for the hood. And then actually the sides and the roof are made out of metal. Okay. So uh, the noses and the hoods are easier to replace than the metal. The metal kind of bends and, and, and those are hard to uh, fix. So. Uh, typically, we don't like to hit the doors, the, the noses and the tails, and the hood. If you get involved in the crash, you know, they, they're not invincible either. All right, let's move on down the side of the new Tundra. You know, we talked about this truck. It's got LED lights all the way around, fog lights, DRLs, your headlights. Looking at the wheels of this one, that's a 20-inch alloy matte black painted TRD wheel on our street Tundra. But what's on your race truck over there? Uh, so these are sweet looking. Uh, ours are actually steel and they're only 16 inches. So our wheels are smaller. Um, and way more. They do definitely way more. They're, pro they're probably much more durable just because we're gonna ha have so much more abuse on our vehicles. So we have to go that, that, that route. Uh, and then obviously our tires, we run slick tires. So the fact that you got tread, it's, uh, it's a different game changer because this thing is gonna be able to uh, take different terrains that uh, a race truck can't take. You know, there's obviously a difference in wheelbase of the street truck because, you know, this is the, the full cab with the four doors. You've got two doors, sort of. Uh, it's a little bit easier to get in this one, which we'll do in just a second. Um, moving to the rear, how about the utility end of your race truck? Because the, the Tundra, it's got this neat little bump switch. How about that? That you can open up the tailgate or say that, uh, Timmy, you're coming back from making a grocery run and your hands are full, just hit it with the elbow. Well, I can see how that'd be very <laughs> useful. You know, for me, I have my, uh, my one-year-old son and gosh, we're carrying groceries, heck, I got diaper bags. So that would definitely uh, come in handy. Uh, man, that's neat. We don't have this little function right here yeah. to knock the tailgate down. Our tailgates actually don't come down. They don't come down. They don't come down. <laughs> so we don't have anything to put in for storage back there. You know, for our, beds you know the only thing that we actually store in the bed is our fuel cell so our fuel cell that's where that's located at you know as far as opening it up we only have one deck lid that we can open up to access that typically we leave it shut and fastened down um, for safety reasons mm -hmm. obviously uh, you know our trucks are built around safety which is why we don't have uh, tail lights and headlights because that stuff in a crash could shatter yeah. or, or become a problem so uh, really, everything that you see differently on our truck are just for safety, uh, uh, for, for a safety standpoint. Now, we'll point out, Timmy, uh, you know, for aerodynamics, obviously, uh, and this also goes into what you were saying with the, the fuel cell and, and some of the other mechanics, behind the cab of, of your race truck, that whole bed is covered, but it also helps for aerodynamics, I suppose. Yes. A bit, right? Definitely. So we've got that here with the optional covered bed covering here of the Tundra. So <laughs> that's one small similarity. Of course, this one folds back all the way to access the bed if you wanted to. And the, uh, the bed of the uh, Toyota Tundra, the street truck we got here, Timmy, is uh, aluminum and a composite uh, that lines the, uh, the inside of, of the truck bed. You've got LED lighting. And there's a 120 volt electrical outlet, three prong. So for camping or, you know, doing some work, you know, put your tools up here and plug it into your truck. That could definitely come in handy. I, I can think of multiple times I would be able to use that. Man, that's, that's neat. All right, Timmy, there's probably some differences uh, between your race truck and the, the Tundra here, street version. So let's hop inside and let's check it out. I can't wait. All right, Timmy, so inside the Tundra, I know this is the big difference from the race truck. You're pretty comfortable sitting over there, looks, this looks is, like. <laughs> this is extremely comfortable. Yeah, you know, uh, these nice leather seats, uh, they're extremely comfortable. Heated leather seats. Wow. Uh, <laughs> 
Now our seats, they do get heated just in a different fashion, you know. Uh, the, the exhaust runs right underneath our race trucks, and man, it gets cooking in our trucks. But, yeah, how how hot do you get in a in a race? Yeah, I mean, what yeah. 400, 500 miles sometimes? Yes. Yeah, so I, I'd say in the summertime, you know, it can get up to one hundred and fifty to one hundred sixty degrees in the car. Um, we don't have nice air conditioning blowing out of the vents for us. We, we we don't have that. But what we do have is a air blower that goes to our helmets and is feeding us fresh air. It's not feeding us cold air is cooler air mm. so typically it's about 30 to 40 degrees cooler than uh what we're having inside the car so it feels like nice air conditioning even though it's not quite the same thing but uh our seats you know they're aluminum seats that uh are very protective they, they they're containment seats that they yeah. contain us from basically moving around in the car in case of an accident you know some of the the features that the race car might be a little similar though but this is some nice technology here Looking behind you, which I know you don't want to be looking too much behind you in the race truck, but compare that race truck mirror to the video monitor that replaces a standard mirror in this in this Tundra. What do you so, think of that? So this is neat. Yes, uh, the picture is a lot more clear. <laughs> you know, ours, like I said, we have a nice uh, full-size mirror, which is probably double the size of this mirror to kind of help us give us more visual. But we don't have the luxury of a digital mirror. I've never personally seen one before. I just... I'm so used to the old style, so this yeah. is really neat. So with this video mirror, you know, we've got our production crew uh, behind us here in the back of the truck, but you don't see them because that's coming from a, a camera on the back of the Tundra. Yeah, so I, I know for me personally, you know, with having a dog and my wife and my kids, and we, 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 we travel so much that, heck, we'll pack uh, our luggage in the back seat of our Tundra. Blocks right your now, view. It blocks your view. You can't look at the back mirror. So yeah. this is nice because you don't have that blocking... Uh, either people or, or your luggage uh, to block your view. So this is really neat. Now you got the, the leather wrap steering wheel here. Now this doesn't go anywhere. It's got an <laughs> airbag in here. How does that compare to your racing steering wheel? So uh, ours aren't quite leather wrapped, um, but we do have some nice ones. We don't have airbags in ours. You know, we have a seven point harness to uh, keep us from moving around and we've got helmets and different safety uh, features that we have in our trucks. Uh, we have roll cages. So you know, basically our trucks are, are a lot more sturdier. I mean, because basically we're preparing for wrecks. Yeah. Um, Plus you don't want an airbag coming out at you no. at 200 miles an hour, right? Oh man, that'd be bad. Now the Tundra here is really cool. Driving from Leaf Toyota in Raleigh up to your race shop today, about an hour and a half up the road from us. I probably only steered this truck a third of the way. It has uh, radar controlled uh, lane assist, uh, radar controlled, cruise control. So, it, you know, I set the speed and then it controlled the distance and it kept me in the lane. And even in slight turns on the highway, you know, the steering wheel is doing its own thing, which is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Yeah, because I, I mean, several times it's easy to, uh, you know, get focused on maybe something going down the highway to your, to your left or right and you lose track of where you are. So the fact that it has lane assist, that's nice. We don't have the luxury in our trucks uh, for sure. We got to stay focused at all times, but you know, if you find yourself dozing off, that's a nice feature to have. You do have some kind of power steering though, don't you, or do you? We have a slight amount of power steering uh, in our trucks. Okay. Now the Tundra here, you've got terrain select. So you can select at the control of this knob for, you know, regular driving on paved roads, or if you're in snow, on gravel, on sand, or on mud. We don't have four-wheel four drive like this truck has. We have <laughs> two-wheel drive at all times, but that makes it more fun when we go to the to the dirt tracks. So we got more sliding around, um, which typically most people down the road you, you rather not be sliding around. You can you can <laughs> whip the tail out a bit. Yes. Or I guess like uh, like they said in the in the Cars movie, you you turn right to go turn left. right to go left. <laughs> you turn right to go left on the dirt track. Yes. <laughs> All right, Timmy, let's talk a bit about what we can look forward to uh, coming up May 27th in Charlotte when uh, we'll have LeithCars.com uh, down the side of you know, one of these trucks in your garage here. Yes, you know, I uh, always love working with Leith Cars and enjoy having them on our cars, and in this case, our truck again. Uh, you know, for that race, we, we love Memorial Day weekend, love what that represents. So uh, to some degree, we're going to have a patriotic scheme on the truck. Our, our designer, Trey Eisen, he does a tremendous do job of designing our race vehicles. We typically have a, a beautiful truck. So I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to somehow incorporating Leith cars into that patriotic scheme. 
and uh, really having a, a great race in Charlotte. Looking forward to that. The race uh, at Charlotte that we'll see you in, Timmy, that is Friday night, May 27th. It's a 200 mile, 200 mile uh, race. I think it's a North Carolina Education Lottery 200. Oh, you got it. There, all right, cool. <laughs> got to get the got to get the sponsors in there uh, with this uh, Toyota Tundra uh, race truck and representing uh, LeafCars.com uh, down the side. You know, we encourage you to follow uh, our coverage of Timmy Hill, number 56 Toyota Tundra, at Leith Cars on our social media and LeafCars.com. But uh, Timmy, where should folks go to follow you and your race team? Sure. If uh, if you're trying to tune into a race team and see what we have coming up, or uh, any kind of information that we have, uh, if you just visit hillmotorsports.com, and uh, we typically have all of our, our news releases on that website. We also have a contact page if you want to reach out to us. And uh, also, if you're looking for an autograph request, uh, I have an address on there to our shop. And if you just send a self-addressed uh, envelope, uh, send that to us, and I'll pop an uh, autograph in there and send it right back to you. Timmy, once again, thanks so much uh, for having us on the car, and can't wait to see you. Uh, have another great race at Charlotte, man. Thank you. Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to, uh, to a fun race and uh, excited to have Leaf Cars back on with us. All right. Thank you, Timmy. I'm Mark Arson. Thank you for watching LeafCars.com 0 to 60, and we'll see you at Charlotte Motor Speedway in May.